A failing elementary school fighting to stay open because of poor academic performance, the state school board could actually shut it down. ABC4's education correspondent Sarah Martin spent the day at Midville Elementary and witnessed their efforts to save their school. Class, class. Yes. Yes. Midville Elementary School is on the last leg of their turnaround status, meaning they're at the bottom 3% of the state academically. But Midville has a very complex set of challenges. About anything you can imagine that a kid could experience, we probably have that going on here at our school. Two family homeless shelters are in the school's boundaries. All 800 students are on free or reduced lunch, and many go home with food for the weekends. And there are 16 languages spoken here. Uno, dos, tres. Listen with your other ear. About 60% of our kids speak Spanish, um, but we have enrolled over the past couple of years a lot of refugee students from different areas in the world. The school was placed on watch three years ago. Consultants suggested a variety of ways to increase grades, all unsuccessful. But this year, they pulled out all the stops. One teacher teaches English language arts, and another teacher um, teaches math, science, and social studies to a group of students that they share. Specialized teachers in every grade and a full staff dedicated to social and emotional health. We're working on more manners and respect and what that looks like, how to make friends. Um, others, it's more distress tolerance, so they're working on when they do have these really big emotions, um, how they can manage them. The school now has a full-time psychologist, counselor, and social worker, plus two behavior aides. Children who need it get group and individual interventions. Our behavior data, if you will, shows that things are getting a lot better. Our academic data shows that kids are growing and they're progressing. All grades have doubled or even tripled the number of students meeting proficiency standards in the past five months. The State Board of Education will make their final decision tomorrow on where these 800 students will attend school next year. Reporting in Midvale, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.